in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to mix your vocals in cubase pro 10.5 using cubase stock plugins only so without wasting much of your time let's get into the video Light up, bro. i just want to make you my baby fine fine you make my mind go side side you take my bp high high I ain't gon' quit out, I try I fly you from Dola to Choma With you I can travel the world Together I see my dream Video. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jay. I make music production tutorials on YouTube for beginners in Cubase and FL Studio. So consider subscribing and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So a week ago, I posted a few suggestions of the videos that you guys would like to see. And a lot of you guys voted that I make a tutorial on how to mix using stock plugins only. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to mix your vocals using Cubase stock plugins only. And hopefully I can make another video on how to master this song that we're going to be working on. So make sure you comment in the comment section and let me know if you'd like to see a mastering tutorial of this using only Cubase stock plugins. Make sure you follow the tutorial step by step so that you understand everything i'm going to explain exactly why i'll need to apply a certain plugin at a certain point so that you also understand how the plugin works and that's the most important thing so that whenever you touch any type of song from today you'll be able to get a decent mix all right so let's get into it so the first thing that you need to do here is clean your vocals and arrange them in order so if you look at this I've cut out the things that I do not need and I've arranged my vocals. The entire project is clean. I can see everything and I've renamed everything on this side. I can see exactly where everything is. So I've got my lead vocal, lead vocal two, and I've got my backing vocals, others that are panned left and right, right here. So make sure you rename and do this. If I go to my lead vocal, you see that there's auto tune here. So if I click on my auto tune, I've set my key. Make sure you set your auto tune key to the key of your song, just like that for pitch correction. And then down here, you can switch on this um, pre filter and just switch on the, the low cut. And then we'll just take it somewhere to around 100 to cut out some the low that we do not need. Set this to 24. So you can uh, do it somewhere between 100 and 126 even 90 you can leave it wherever you want so maybe let's just put it to 111 once this is done you've set your auto tune and everything you can just copy the channel settings so simply go here and copy then go to your next channel and paste these settings because it's the same vocal therefore it's the same key and we are applying this same filter here so once this is done you can apply this to all your other vocal channels down here all right so now that this is applied on all my vocals let me play this so that you listen to what we're dealing with Alright guys, so this is basically what we're dealing with. Uh, this is what we'll be mixing. So just uh, be patient and let's move on. So the first thing that we're going to do is the balancing of your vocals and your beat. I'll make sure that the beat is playing somewhere around negative six. That's the reason why I've reduced uh, the volume of the beat here to negative six. We need to go to the master here and just add this free plugin which i'll leave the link in the description this is the only third party plugin we're going to use it's a metering plugin to analyze the level of our mix so i'll click on this most of you that have been watching my videos know about the mv meter so it has got themes i like to use the dark theme so if i play this bit just to make sure after reducing the volume to make sure that it is actually in negative six 
so you can see uh, the value down here right here on the meter so you can just reduce the volume of the beat make sure it is some playing around negative six as the maximum peak so once we're done with this i'll switch on my lead vocal just somewhere here where it is a little bit concentrated or where it looks a little bit louder so what i'll do is just grab everything that is my lead vocal just highlight everything and make sure everything else is on mute and i'm just going to balance these vocals on this beat the beat is at negative six when i play the vocals i'll need to make sure that i'm somewhere from negative six to negative three because the values are going to zero so the range where you're supposed to be is not more than negative three db so i'll play and then i'll be reducing the volume of all these vocals as we take a look at the meter here so for now what i'm going to do is just reduce everything to that then just play and you feel like you dying dying but pretty ghetto pretty ghetto so funny call it love funny call it go tell you fine fine i gonna be your man man i won't make you smile i won't make you cry i tell you fine fine i gonna stand by your side side i won't make you cry i'm gonna be your man all right so i think at this point this is okay for me so i can't manage to go through the entire song and show you how i reduce everything so you can cut on certain points that are lower you, you raise them a bit you just need to be somewhere around that range once you are there everything else you can fix with your compressor once the balancing is done with the lead vocal we can move on to the backing vocals so the first backing vocals that i'm going to switch on are these two here left and right so we'll just blend them and maintain our level so i'm going to grab the other set of backing vocals and then just play and you feel like you die you feel like you die like pretty ghetto pretty ghetto so funny gorilla so funny gorilla cuz get you fine fine i and you feel like you die you feel like you die like pretty ghetto pretty ghetto so funny i'll go to this one here this one is centered this is the backing vocal that is centered i'm just going to highlight that and i'll come here so funny gorilla cuz get you fine fine I gon' be your man, man. I won't make you smile. I won't make you cry. I get you fine, fine. I gon' stand by your side, side. So, like you can see, you need to make sure that most parts of your mix are around that range, which is between negative six and negative three. Now we can go to the plugins so the first thing that you need to do is i like a section that you are going to work on so for me i'm going to use the verse here in most cases you can use the chorus which is the heavier part of the mix so just choose whichever part of the mix that you want to use mm, no time for the bad vibes no time for the vipers yeah light up bro. i just wanna make you my baby now what you need to do is add group channels come here to an empty space right click on your mouse then go to add group track make sure this is stereo and we're going to rename them afterwards so i'm going to add two one for my lead vocals and one for my backup vocals if we so desire to treat them separately so i'm going to rename these to lead vox once this is done what i'll do is send all my lead vocals to my lead vocal group channel by simply clicking on the channel and then coming here click and send it there come here click and send there I'm going to treat backing vocals and my lead vocals in the same group because I don't want to do a lot of effects otherwise this will be a very long tutorial so this depends on you if you want to give your backing vocals a different type of effect you can use the backing vocals group for me I'm going to treat them the same 
I'll use the same group for all my vocals. You can just go to your lead vox channel. The first plugin that we're going to add is a gate. To set the parameters on this gate, what I like to do is first go to my vocal, make sure I just take the, the threshold here all the way down and then just go to a silent place on the vocal so that I get the actual amount of noise on that vocal. So all I want to do is just play this part. I'll make sure this has no value. Negative 55.7. So I'll just set this to negative 55. Mm, I call me the fixer. I know you've been crying, crying, and you feel like you dying. You feel like you dying. You are pretty ghetto. To set your analysis to 50%, also your attack to something that is fast, so maybe 10 milliseconds or 11 milliseconds around that area. Your release should also be a little bit faster. These vocals or the microphone uh, doesn't really have too much noise. That's the reason why we ended up there so let's move on to the next plugin which is an eq so this eq is basically just a corrective eq we are using it to correct our vocal get rid of the parts that we don't really want the frequencies that are annoying and so on for this i'm going to use the eq plugin in cubase which is called frequency so i'll come to eq then i'll go to this one here and make sure i'm right here at this point so i'll play this mm, no time for the bad vibes no time for the vipers yeah i'm going to grab one here drop it down and set this to cut 24 and i'll take the frequency all the way to 110 mm, no time for the bad vibes no time for the vipers yeah so from here i'm going to look for the room effect and just reduce it a little bit so i'll be playing and sweeping around here just to see where i can find that sound what you can do here is click on this so you, you can simply solo the frequency so let's just play this mm, no time for the bad vibe no time for the vipers yeah light up bro. I, I just wanna, wanna make you my baby. baby fine fine you make my mind go side side you take my BP high, high. I ain't gon' quit out, I try. I fly you from dollar to choma. With you, I can travel the world. Alright, so that's okay for me. And then I'll get this and just look for another point. Mm, no time for the bad vibes. No time for the vipers, yeah. Light up, bro. I just wanna make you my baby, fine, fine. You make my mind go side, side. You take my BP high, high. I ain't gon' quit out, I try. I fly you from dollar to choma. With you, I can travel the whole world. They get out of see my dreams. Alright, I think that's okay with me. So what I'll do is switch off this and see exactly what I've done. Switch it on and off to see what I've done. So basically what we've done here is gotten rid of some of the bass sounds in the vocal or that room effect and just leaving it light enough. So let's just check. I'll switch off the EQ. Mm, no time for the bad vibes. No time for the vipers. Yeah. I'll switch it on now. Mm, no time for the bad vibes no time for the vipers yeah all right so i think we've done a great job for these vocals i've noticed that um there isn't much on this side that i i need to get rid of so if you think your vocal has got some sub sounds that you'd like to get rid of that's where you come this side and start reducing some of the thing i've made a full tutorial on an eq if you want to understand it and how to do these other things so we can add the compressor under dynamics you can go to compressor at this point i'll need to switch on the beat so as i apply my compressor i'll need to maintain my level here which is between negative six and negative three so first thing i'll do is set the ratio to four to one for the release maybe let's set it to auto set the attack to 10 and then the analysis to 50 percent remove the makeup from auto and then let's just play around with the threshold until we find some consistency in the vocal and then we can add the number of dbs that we've lost using the makeup so for
for your reduction you can check here you can be somewhere around negative three negative four maybe even uh negative five mm, no time for the bad vibes no time for the vipers yeah light up bro i just wanna make you my baby fine fine you make my mind go sad, sad. you take my bp high high so now we can compensate for this by adding at least five or six no time for the bad vibes no time for the vipers yeah light up bro i just wanna make you my baby fine fine you make my mind go sad, sad. all right so i think negative six is okay for me so you need to listen to your vocal feel the consistency in terms of loudness so right here we're going to add another eq and we're going to use the same eq plugin which is frequency so this eq plugin will be used to add some presence i'll go maybe to this point at five and then i'll just set it to maybe 1.8 i'll change this to high shelf i'll be listening to my vocal as i push the gain and see at what point do i feel that presence that i really need 3 db or 6 db so just play around that area so i'll do that mm, no time for the bad vibes no time for the vipers yeah light up bro i just wanna make you my baby fine fine you make my mind go side side you take my bp high.